The stock market just rallied 4% in a single day. It was one of the largest intraday rallies in history. The market went from down 2% to up 2% in a single day. And we have not seen a reversal rally like this in years. So what happened? What was the news that caused the market to go up today? Well, you might be surprised to learn there was no news. In fact, the news that came out today actually wasn't very good at all. And that's why the stock market sold off so much this morning. In fact, I made a video this morning explaining why the stock market was selling off. And shortly after posting that video, the stock market reversed and went on a massive rally. So what actually happened? Well, as it turns out, it was purely technical. And this is why if you're going to be day trading, you have to understand technical analysis. Now, to understand what exactly happened, we've got to go all the way back to 2022. Back in 2022, if you draw a line from the top of the market in 2021 to the bottom of the market in 2022, you get a Fibonacci retracement level. And then if you extend that a little bit higher, you get a 161.8% Fibonacci retracement level. And it is that level from all the way back in 2022 that the stock market bounced off of today. In fact, you can see that very clearly here on the intraday chart. The S&P 500 fell 1.6%, bounced right off of that 161.8% Fibonacci retracement level from 2022 and went on a massive rally, finishing the day up over 1%. So what does this mean for stocks? Well, if you're a long-term investor, it really doesn't mean anything. But if you're a day trader or a swing trader, you better pay attention. Because right now, there's a lot of fighting between the economic data and investor sentiment. The economic data has been very bearish, but investor sentiment remains very bullish. And back in August, we saw a massive sell-off at the beginning of August when the July economic data came out, showing that we were either in a recession or about to enter one. And then investor sentiment kicked in, completely forgot about the economic data, and we went on a massive rally and erased all all of the losses that we had in early August. Then September comes, the August economic data came out last week, and we saw the exact same thing, a massive sell-off. Then what did we get this week? Investor sentiment kicks in, we completely forget about the bad economic data, and stocks rally. And today we saw more of the same, it just all happened in one day instead of over multiple weeks. So right now, there's a lot of fighting between the very bearish economic data and the very bullish investor sentiment. What that means is that so long as economic data is coming out, the stock market is going to fall. So long as there's no economic data coming out, the stock market should rise. Because when economic data comes out, it's bearish, stocks fall. And when there's no economic data, investor sentiment takes over, which is bullish, and stocks rise. Well, we don't have really any major economic data between now and the FOMC meeting on Wednesday, meaning for the next four days, the market should go up. Now, of course, we don't really know what's going to happen, but just based upon how the stock market works, I would expect the stock market would continue to go up for the next four days unless something completely unforeseen happens. So, what about after that? Well, after that, the Federal Reserve and Jerome Powell is probably going to solidify a market direction starting Wednesday of next week. And one of two things is going to happen. Either investor sentiment is going to flip and it's going to get in line with the economic data and it's going to become bearish and we're going to see a prolonged sell-off or the economic data is going to flip, it's suddenly going to show that we are not actually having a downturn in the economy and that the economy is actually just fine and continuing to grow. And it's going to line up with the bullish investor sentiment and we're going to go on a prolonged rally. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this crazy day. Let me know if you think the economic data is going to win out or if investor sentiment is going to win out. Who's right, economists or investors? Because right now, economists are really bearish, investors are really bullish, and they can't both be right. Somebody is going to win. So let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win and 
Let me know what you think about this crazy reversal day.